So you might be in this situation where for some reason you're trying to go ahead and remember your iPhone lock screen passcode, but for some reason you totally forgot it and now you're trying to figure out what to do. Now, number one, try as hard as you can to remember it because the method I'm going to show you is pretty much going to erase everything from your iPhone. Luckily for us, as long as you have your Apple ID password, you know, your Apple ID username and password, then you should be good. If you forgot your actual lock screen, you know, number, first things first, just try to remember it as much as you can because, you know, you're going to have to delete everything off your phone in case that doesn't work out. Now, luckily for you in today's day and age, there's already random iCloud backups that happen. There's already all this data that's already, you know, stored up like Instagram and, you know, messages and stuff already usually synced up. So you won't lose too much. Hopefully you were able to back up some of your photos as well. Now, the big thing to keep in mind is when you go through and you type in your iPhone passcode a bunch of times over and over again and it's wrong, <clears throat> there's going to be a little pop-up at the bottom that basically will show you an option of kind of going through and erasing your iPhone. So it will look something like this. So it'll show you a security lockout and it'll show something at the bottom and it will show erase iPhone. So what you could do is you could just go through and just click on that erase iPhone button that's in the bottom right, and you can go through and erase your iPhone information. Now, it's going to delete everything off your iPhone, but it's also going to go through and allow you to kind of reset up your iPhone once again. And this could be your only sh one of your shots of kind of recovering your iPhone and still using it. It's going to delete your data. It's going to erase everything off of it, but it's also going to remove that passcode. And when you reset it up, you can just go through and type in your Apple ID, username, and password, and go that way. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.